Alrighty, let's keep moving on here. And this is the best. This is what I wanted to hear. I am loving this. This is probably the best thing we are going to be saying all day, folks. Forget everything else we've said for the last 59 minutes. This is the best news of training camp that has happened thus far, folks. Former Bengals wide receiver A.J. Green is off to an impressive start with the Cardinals. He has looked to have a renewed energy and has looked like a flashback to his early days with the Bengals. Oh my goodness. O.G. A.J. Green? Oof. Oof. Do we got to remind y'all what this man was doing? If you just started watching the NFL and don't know who mother loving AJ Green is, he is an OG top receiver in this league and he's only his only downfall was that he had to be quarterbacked by Andy Dalton and coached by who is it Marvin Harris? Something like that, but OG AJ Green not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. Five, five straight 1,000-yard receiving seasons ever since he got to the league. He almost had seven straight, but his sixth season in the league, 2016, he only caught for 964 yards. Womp, womp. But, I mean, folks, we are talking basically seven, seven straight 1,000-yard receiving seasons, folks. Magnificent. 65 touchdowns in total. The last two seasons, they've been... And kind of you know rebuilding this Bengals team so he hasn't really been the a1 tier one wide receiver he wasn't really the number one anymore he wasn't really playing every single game they were looking to move off of him so if we're getting kind of prime time AJ Green back alongside DeAndre Hopkins if prime time AJ Green only has to be the second option oh my goodness with the great thrower of the football and Kyler Murray oh my goodness Watch out big time, big time for this Cardinals team, folks. Oh, my goodness. De DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Green, two A1 Tier 1 wide receivers on the same team. Sheesh, 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 folks. Sheesh. It's going to be fantastic. So, I'm loving that we're hearing prime A.J. Green flashback to his early days with the Bengals, folks. Um, the catch percentage wasn't always great, but I mean, you're getting the ball thrown to you by Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton, folks. Do we have to remind you of his stats? Let me look up this man's completion percentage because I'm sure it's not very, very good. Uh, let's quickly take a look. Is he kind of checking our checkbox of what good completion percentage is in the NFL? All righty. I mean... With A.J. Green, he's throwing 58%, 62%, 61%. He had a 64%. That's solid. He had a 66% season um, in 2015. What was um, A.J. Green's catch percentage in 20, what would we say, 2016? 2016, Andy Dalton, no, 2015, Andy Dalton threw 66%. What did... A.J. Green catch in 2015, he caught 65% catch percentage, his second best of his career because Andy Dalton was on fire that season. And that's not even on fire. That's just, you know, very, very good. It's not great. It's very, very good. So that's basically Andy Dalton, one good season. That's it. And then he's back to 59. <laughs> and then he's back to 61 and 59 again. So it's not like Andy Dalton is some great thrower of the football. So that's why the low catch percentage here by A.J. Green because he's absolutely getting the ball th freaking sailing over his head by uh, Andy Dalton, but A.J. Green is 6'4", folks. You got 6'1", DeAndre Hopkins that plays like he's 6'4", and then A.J. Green, 6'4", who plays like he's 6'4". You love it. Man, oh, man. This Cardinals team, folks. Woo! Woo! It's going to be great. Get big, get pumped for this Cardinals team because it's coming, folks. It's coming to town. It's coming to town. Woof, love it. All right. Let's keep moving on here. We got 